We are Georgia and David. We recently quit our jobs to travel full-time with our 14-year-old Shelty Poo. Our first stop after crossing the border into Mexico was Saltillo. We spent 19 days there. In this video, we will show you some of our experiences in this not so well-known city. Stay tuned until the end for the cost breakdown and a tour of the Airbnb we stayed in. So this morning we are in Alameda, Zaragoza, which is a large park um, towards the centro area of Saltillo. Uh, Meep is excited to go on a walk. They have a big artificial lake in this park as well. Um, it's beautifully manicured. We all had a good time walking around the park, especially Meep. We found out that from the air you can see Mexico in the lake, and if you come at the right time, you can even ride paddle boats. We're at the Parque uh, de Mirador del Saltillo, and uh, as you can see behind us, uh, Saltillo City is actually quite large, a lot bigger than I thought it was. So if you look uh, back, here. back there, you'll see this tower, um, and apparently every night at 7.30 they do a light show. So um, we are going to try to make it back. Um, we also did our picture um, with the Saltillo sign uh, with meat, and also that is lit up at night. So we'll probably do that picture again too, see which one comes out better. Um, but this is an absolutely beautiful spot. The mountains completely surround the city, so everywhere you look you see mountains and churches because there are a, a ton of cathedrals. We are back at um, Parque Mirador de Saltillo. Um, as you can see behind us, the sun is getting ready to set and apparently starting at 7.30 uh, they have a light show. So it's at 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, and 10.30. The park closes at 11. Um, it's already past 7.30. You can actually see some of the light machines going off, but yeah. obviously it's too bright to actually Couldn't appreciate the show. So hopefully it will be dark enough at 8.30 for us to uh, capture it. This was the extent of the light show the night we were at the Mirador. While pretty, we have seen videos of much more elaborate light shows. They must be reserved for holidays and special events. Today we're walking around Saltillo. Uh, we visited, what, three churches so far? Yep. Uh, very, very pretty churches. Uh, kind of looking at the old architecture around here. demonstration. Um, everything's very lively in the evening. It is a Saturday. I asked for cocktail bar recommendations in the Saltillo Expats Facebook group. One of the places recommended was the Brujas Pub. Brujas means witches in English. The cocktail presentations were definitely witch themed and made the experience that much better. We liked the place so much that we visited a second time for a mezcal tasting. I try not to eat pan dulce very often. Um, it's very popular here in Mexico. On practically every street corner there is a panaderia, which is a bakery. But right now we don't feel too bad about indulging because if you look behind us, we have some excellent stairs to go ahead and work off all of those carby calories. Concha, and we got whatever this is. We also got a couple of iced coffees. 
Um, there was actually a line out in front of this place because uh, they open at 3 o'clock. So it looks like this is the place to have Pan Dulce here in Saltillo. So we just uh, got home from La Casita del Pan and I have to say it was absolutely the best Pan Dulce we have ever had. Um, you can see here we brought home two giant cinnamon rolls um, to have for breakfast tomorrow and we got one of their little savory empanadas. Uh, the employees were super friendly. Everything was so delicious and I really couldn't recommend it more. Later. So we are on our way to go get some tacos for dinner and you may notice that there has been a wardrobe change. Uh, that's for two reasons. First, I don't want to brag or anything, but I have now been pooped on by birds in four different countries across three different continents. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> yeah, it happened to be in the Philippines, I think. <laughs> um, the other reason that I have changed is it is currently 62 degrees, uh, so it is a little bit chilly, so I put on something a little longer sleeve. We walked about 10 minutes to a highly rated restaurant called Rustica. We had a mix of their tacos. Our favorite ended up being the adobado, but they were all good. We chased them down with a couple of micheladas. The staff was super friendly and even gave us a couple of mezcals to try for free. Right now we are getting ready to go to the movies for the first time in Mexico. We are trying the Sinopolis VIP experience. Um, the tickets were about $7.50 US. Um, and that's obviously like a lot cheaper than you pay for the regular movie theater back home, but there are lots of perks with this one. We were able to get the tickets online and to reserve our seats. However, it did not take our credit card the first time. I've heard that there are a lot of Mexican websites that don't accept uh, US credit cards, so I'm not sure if that was the case or if it was just our credit card or there was some kind of user error, but it worked fine when we did PayPal. So uh, we have our seats reserved and we are looking forward to seeing how fancy this experience is. We saw The Lost City with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. It was the English version with Spanish subtitles. The movie was hilarious, but since we can read and speak a little Spanish, the translations, or should I say, the Lost in Translations, were also quite funny. All right, so the Sinopolis VIP experience was probably one of the best movie experiences I've ever had. Um, you can order food. Uh, there's a little button that you can call people and they'll actually come in and take your order and bring you food at your your uh, your seat. Uh, the seats are, within this one anyway, the seats were electric and reclining. Uh, plenty of space and it was very a very good experience. Yeah, the menu is super extensive. There is sushi, there are hamburgers, there's salads. Um, we were very boring. We just got popcorn. Um, but even their popcorn was interesting. They had Doritos flavor. They had Takis flavor. They had regular butter. They had cheddar. They had caramel. Mm -hmm. And all of the popcorn containers have a little divider down the center, so you actually pick two flavors. Um, so even the popcorn was cool. Yeah. I really loved it. Um, and I think we'll be seeing a lot more movies in the theater. It's not something we did a whole lot at home because it just kind of felt overpriced and it was mm -hmm. generally kind of uncomfortable. Um, but the seats reclined and they were super plush and it was great experience. So after our five-star movie experience, we decided to kind of continue our date night. Uh, and we have an 8.30 reservation because 8.30 is about as late as we can manage to go. Apparently Mexicans like to eat dinner at about 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and the restaurant is called Tuetanos, which is uh, bone marrow. So the restaurant has lots of um, cuts of meat, lots of steak, um, and obviously as the name suggests, bone marrow. So we're looking forward to a nice uh, fancy meal out. Mm -hmm. Tuetanos was the fanciest place we ate in Saltillo. We started with the bone marrow tacos and the bone marrow sopes with escamoles. Escamoles are ant larvae, aka Mexican caviar. For my main course, I had the wagyu short ribs, which you cook yourself on a hot plate, and Georgia had the arranchera. Everything was perfect until the manager ran my credit card as dollars without saying a word, which gave us a bad exchange rate. We didn't expect this kind of thing in Saltillo. Usually in touristy places, they will ask you how you want your credit card run, and we always know to choose the local currency. It definitely put a damper on the evening. So you've probably heard of Saltillo Tile before, um, and that is definitely something that we have noticed while being here, is that a lot of the sidewalks are tiled, the buildings are tiled, 
there is tile everywhere. On this walk, we stopped by the Santuario de Guadalupe, the closest church to our Airbnb. Unfortunately, it was never open for us to look inside. Later, we decided to check out the local government buildings. The Legislative Power, Library of Congress, and Congressional Palace buildings were all very impressive and shared the same pink colored brick. The Congressional Plaza and City Theater were also great photo ops. We're about to enter Carnes Finas. We ate here about a week ago. It's kind of like a butcher shop and restaurant combined. So you can go in there and pick out the meat you want and you can take it home and grill it yourself or they'll cook it up for you. This time we ordered the picanha, which came with grilled onions and homemade salsa. We also ordered the queso fundido with mushrooms. Yet again, it was absolutely delicious. One of our favorite meals. We're currently at the Desert Museum here in Saltillo, and uh, you can see a T-Rex uh, skeleton behind us. And there's also a, uh, it's like a velociraptor trying to get out of a, uh, a trailer over here, but he doesn't seem to be functioning quite right. <laughs> We visited this museum close to the end of our stay in Saltillo. I'm super glad we didn't miss it. While this museum is definitely kid friendly, you don't have to be a kid to enjoy it. There are tons of fossils, gemstones, and animals both stuffed and alive. We just finished up at the Desert Museum and one of the things that we learned was that the state that we're in in Mexico, Coahuila, is actually uh, one of the top 10 places for dinosaur fossils. So a lot of the fossils that we saw in the museum actually came from this state, which I thought was really cool. Something else we learned is that Mexico used to have huge bats that were capable of carrying off small children. Luckily, their descendants are much smaller and stick to the blood of animals. So this was our Airbnb here in Saltillo. One of the best things about it was that it had private covered parking. And obviously being able to park this close to the door made it very easy for David to load and unload the vehicle. As you can see, it's got a nice, comfortable couch. The only downside was that there is not a TV down here. There's a large one in the master bedroom, um, but we like to watch TV with me in the evenings. And uh, so we just had to watch it on the laptop. You can see a nice little dining area. David also edited videos here. Really big kitchen, which was great. You can see it's nothing fancy, but it's everything we needed. And then here, we actually have a washer dryer, which came in quite handy. And then also out the back here, there's a little enclosed space uh, that Meep definitely appreciated and David appreciated not having to put her on a leash every morning to take her for a walk. Um, and then right by the front door here is a little half bath. Again, it's very simple, but it was everything that we needed. All right, and now we'll uh, head upstairs. So the house has two floors, which is really nice because there's only air conditioning in the master bedroom. And this allows all the heat to kind of come upstairs and the downstairs stays really cool. So the first door here, you can see is a guest bedroom. We did not really use this room. The second bedroom here, another guest bedroom. We did use this for storage. And then across the hall here, we have a full bath with a nice big shower. And then up here is a little table that I did my makeup at. And then this is the master bedroom. It's got a king size bed, nice little dresser with drawers. You see the AC unit there. 
There's a little balcony out there. We never did use that. A very large TV. It's also a very large walk-in closet. And my favorite part, the master bathroom has a bathtub, which is exceedingly rare in Mexico. So very excited to have that. As you can imagine, our cost of living dropped pretty dramatically after we crossed the border. We spent 19 days in Saltillo and our Airbnb for those 19 nights cost $718. We spent $406 on transportation, which includes tolls and gas. We spent $69 on entertainment. We spent $138 at bars, an additional $769 at restaurants, and $304 on groceries. We also spent $17 in donations. That brings our grand total for the 19 days to $2,421 which is about $127 a day. Compare that to the $322 per day we spent in San Antonio and the whopping $395 a day that New Orleans cost us. If you happen to be visiting Saltillo, we recommend Carnes Finas for dinner, La Casita del Pan for pastries, the Cineapolis VIP Theater for some entertainment, and of course, the Desert Museum to reawaken the kid in you.